I will never forget the taste of that blackberry pie. Now then, Emily, how was your Spanish class? Fue un pedazo de pastel, señorino. Now, did you find your science book, Owen? Yep, it was in the Lost and Found. That was quite lucky. Eric, have you gotten that job at the marketplace? Yes, I clean up that place every time. I never asked how your spring vacation was, Rachel. Just ocean waves, road traveling, and grilled chicken. But now we're home. Molly, that was a wonderful performance at the school dance. Everyone loved my voice at the presentation. Benjamin, just be careful who you minister to. Hey, I only minister to those I trust. It's time for our science lesson, everyone. The science of the human body is called anatomy. You would be learning more about anatomy in PE class. Do your best, everyone. What do the skin, muscles, and bones do in the human body? The outermost layer, the skin protects the insides of the body from things that can hurt it, as well as keeping it warm and helping it to feel things touching it. Just below the skin is the muscle tissue, which pulls on our body parts through electrical signals to move them. Most muscle is voluntary, meaning that we control it, while the involuntary muscles move by themselves. An example of an involuntary muscle is the heart. Just beneath the muscle tissue is a skeleton, which keeps the skin and muscles from collapsing. Bones, which are made of hard minerals, have cushions between them so they don't rub against each other. How do organs work? An organ is a body part that performs a certain task. The brain helps us think and make decisions. The lungs squeeze in and out, taking air into and out of our bodies, allowing us to breathe oxygen for our blood. The heart pumps the blood to circulate and warm or cool our bodies. The stomach digests food to break it down into nutrients. The liver helps digest food and get rid of poisons. The kidneys keep wastes out of our blood. The intestines get rid of waste from undigested food in our stomachs. How do we sense things? As well as helping us think, the brain also sends electrical signals through our bodies. The part of the brain called the cerebrum helps us with our senses of touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. The cerebellum helps our muscles to move. The brain stem is connected to the spinal cord and helps the heart to pump. The brain is divided into two halves. The right side controls the left side of the body and vice versa because the nerves cross each other. If one is right-handed, the left half of the brain is controlling their language and math, while the other half is controlling the side that recognizes things. Describe the nervous system. The nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves of the body. The peripheral nervous system helps us to sense and feel things. It also helps our muscles to respond. The central nervous system sends electric signals to and from the brain to respond to things outside the body. How does the circulatory system work? The heart makes the blood circulate. Blood must circulate through the body at certain speeds, so it will not get too hot or cold according to its surroundings. The heart has four chambers, the atria on top and the ventricles at the bottom. They suck in the blood and then squeeze it out so it can travel through the veins. As well as keeping the right temperature, blood sends oxygen from the lungs through the body and also delivers nutrients to the cells. 
Describe the five food groups. Fats, sweets, red meats, and oils are not healthy, and it is better not to consume much of them. Too much salt is also unhealthy, though a bit of salt is important for health. Milk and dairy products are rich in calcium, and one-fifth of a meal should be dairy products. White meats, nuts, beans, and fish are rich in protein, and a meal should be one-fifth protein foods. Starch, such as grains and potatoes, are also important, and a meal should be one-fifth starch. Vegetables and fruits are rich in vitamins and fiber, and a meal should be two-fifths fruit or vegetables. As well as good food, the human body needs plenty of exercise to be strong. Here is Psalm 49 verse 3 in the King James Version of the Bible. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. Benjamin! That is very good. I do respect your Christian beliefs. You have every right to believe that. Never forget it. Thank you, Grandma. I myself don't believe in the scriptures, but you have much freedom to believe in them. <laughs> Grandma, even God wants everyone to know science, so that we can all know how to work and take care of ourselves the right way. You know what, Benjamin? I'll try to go to church with you and Grandpa next Sunday. <laughs>